The title of this podcast is Housekeeping. Most recently, I went on a trip to New Orleans. It was a 24-hour trip in which I was going to give a talk on well-being. I got to the hotel. Everything went fine. Uh, I was really centered. I told myself before uh, I went that I was not going to make a problem of anything. De delayed flight, I was going to be completely present. I was going to be kind. I was going to lead with an open heart, and I was not going to make. I was not going to allow myself, be, my mind, to be bothered. Whatever happened, and there was a delayed flight on the return trip. I had no problem with it because of all the practice that I had before of when I used to be bothered by things that were completely out of my control. And then not only would I ruin the experience for me, but for everyone else. Uh, and there were other things that happened. One thing that happened was uh, the speaker before me. Uh, she went 30 minutes over her time, not a problem. If that meant that my talk was short, that's fine too. Before something like that would have bothered me, not this time, because I've continued to work on myself. And hopefully if something like that happens in the future, that I'll still be conscious enough not to let that bother me as well. After I gave my talk, I look for a place to go change because checkout was at 11 my talk was at 11, so I couldn't go back to the room to change, and I didn't want to fly home if I had a choice in a suit and tie. I'd rather fly home in something a little bit more comfortable. And so I went to the hotel staff and asked if they had a ho hospitality room or suite in which guests could change clothes, and they said no. So my other option was a bathroom. So I found a men's restroom. I went there to begin to change. And just as I was taking off my jacket, my shirt, and I was just uh, just taking off my trousers. Uh, someone from housekeeping knocked on the door and said, anyone in there? And I said, yes, I'm here, I'm just changing. Why are you changing clothes in the bathroom? I politely said, I'm changing clothes because there's nowhere else for me to change. There's no hospitality suite. So she said, well, I'm trying to change the bathroom. Uh, uh, I'm trying to clean the bathroom. I said, okay, I'll be out shortly. Thank you so much. And about a minute or two later, she said, are you done yet? I said, no, I'm not done yet, but I'm working on, on getting done here pretty soon. And I'll be out as soon as I can. I'm trying to fold my clothes. I mean, there's water all over the sink where I've got my suitcase on top of it. I'm wiping that down, trying not to get my white shirt or this suit wet or fall on the floor. And, and, and then one of her colleagues outside the door comes up and the colleague also housekeeping says are you are you finished with the bathroom like no this guy's in there trying to change his clothes right now I'm trying to clean the bathroom and I'm standing like the door in the wall were paper thin so I could hear the whole conversation and I'm like I'm sorry I'm sorry I'll be right out it's like I told him to come out of there and and he should be doing this somewhere else and I gotta clean the bathroom and and so <clears throat> after about another minute they just open the door and they just started cleaning around me. <laughs> and I barely got on some comfortable pants. I'm still just in a t-shirt. I haven't even put on the shirt that I want to wear. And I'm in my socks. So I just pick up all my luggage and the suit and take it out, find a little uh, table right outside the bathroom. And I start to fold up my clothes. And, and I, uh, again, apologize for inconveniencing them as they clean up. They didn't say much. They just kept right on, you know, doing what they were doing. So I want to give them a tip, uh, not because of, of how they communicate it, but because they had an idea about how their day was going to go. And I inconvenienced or interrupted that idea or their expectation. So I wanted to give them a tip like I would for anyone for the inconvenience or for an act of kindness. It may not look like an act of kindness, certainly not to my personal mind, but to my conscious self. Uh, they they still allowed me to clean the bath, I mean, to change while they were waiting to clean the bathroom. But I couldn't find my wallet. So when they came out and they were moving on to the next station, I asked them, hey, listen, uh, I can't find my wallet. Uh, do you mind if I check the trash? 
And I said, I'm happy to put my own hands in there and check it. You know, I don't want you guys to have to do that. And they start pulling out gloves and they start to do it. And they were like, oh my God, you lost your wallet. So I said, they didn't see it in the trash. So I came back and I said, listen, uh, if for some reason um, uh, I find my wallet, I want to come back and tip you. It's like, no, you don't have to do that. So I went back to my uh, things and I went through my Mayo Clinic backpack, which is one of these backpacks for like survivalists or for wilderness uh, uh, adventurers, which has 50 pockets in it. And I, I put it somewhere so I wouldn't lose it. So I discovered my wallet and I tracked down the ladies and I gave them 20 bucks each, which is nothing. It's a small like gratuity for the inconvenience. And they were so happy to get it as if I gave them a thousand dollars each. The reason I'm telling this is, is that at any point, I could have been bothered by this. Now, Keith 1.0 wouldn't have said anything back to them. I wouldn't have done that, but I certainly would have gone to the hotel management and told them about how their staff was treating kind, treating uh, customers and guests. But I thought to myself, well, I didn't even think to, think to go do that. And the reason that I wouldn't have done that as Keith 2.0, who was committed to his practice, is because it wouldn't have served the moment. I would have had my stuff get hit because I'd been like, how dare hotel staff to talk to me this way? And then I would have probably went and go bar the management and, and, and impact their day. Now I'm hitting their stuff. And then housekeeping would have, you know, probably been impacted. Hopefully what happened was that they noticed the way that I showed up, and that every guest who interacted with them from that point forward probably got a kind of person. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I have no control over that and have no way of knowing it. What I do have control over is how I responded in the situation. I had an opportunity to either get do the dance with them or an opportunity to serve and lift the moment. And this time I served and lifted the moment. That means that I'm going to do it next time. Hopefully I will with, with the consistent practice. But in this case, I chose to lift the moment. And so this is my experience in New Orleans last weekend with housekeeping. So what I did was not just simply interact with people physically with housekeeping, but I did a little housekeeping internally. And I, and I did some pretty good cleaning, thankfully, with my personal mind. And that was all the conscious self. Mm -hmm.